What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 286 of Opinions May Vary. I'm your host, JR. I have my co-host with me, Alex. Hello. Hey, man. Hi. I'm well. That's good. You didn't give me a chance to ask. It's okay. We're doing... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> joining us this week is R. R. It's not is. It's R. Joining us R. No, joining us is. I was... Well, it's plural. There's two? Mm -hmm. I don't... It's very late. We're also... We're cutting it. We're cutting it close here. We're gonna get this episode uploaded like within minutes of finishing it because we're on a, we're on a deadline. But joining us this week is, I guess it's is. No, it would be R R two of two of yeah whatever. My favorite one of my favorite couples in the world. Um, we've never had you guys on the show at the same time. Yeah, you guys have been on individual S separate shows, times. separate times. And this one, one of you wasn't even expecting to be on tonight. So. <laughs> There it is. Surprise. We're really good at that. I think we we've done that many times to many many of our guests. You can be like, yo, how'd you get roped in? And you guys can all share stories. That's how we get you. But um it's our it's our good friend Dave. Hello. Hey. That's Dave, by the way. And yeah. um uh Dave well, should do I do the better half joke? Is that just horrifyingly like cliche? Go for it. Because everyone the, the better half. Go yeah. For it. Is is uh, is oh. Nichelle. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, you two. I'm really excited. Right, this is the first time we've ever had a married couple on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you two are pretty close though. that we know. Uh, you know we're, we are. We're, we're, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's only been how many years has it been for Connecticut that it's legal? Three, two. <sighs> a depressingly low number. Yeah, it's low. It's yep. low. Love like, cannot be held back. We would have had to settle realities. for a civil union. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, we don't have to anymore. We don't get the benefits if we chose. Yeah, no. That's true. Although, so if, if one of us dies and the other one doesn't get any of uh, our our pension or anything, it's or something like that. Collection yeah. of comics. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, I think he could. You could leave it to me, right? That's true. I don't yeah, know. I could will it. But like, if I go into surgery again, you can't come in, in the in the hospital. Right. For me, you know, family. There's also the big hitch that I'm also married to to someone else. Yeah, that's true. That's so, important. So we'd move you to Nevada. Unless, I mean, <laughs> Nevada, right? We could we could practice some some good old fashioned polygamy. <laughs> so we're close, but we're not that mm -hmm. close. I mean, we're we're pretty close. Wait, though, what? But, hmm? you wow, <laughs> you were not joking about the stomach thing. I am praying that the mic picked that up. That was unbelievably amazing. So, uh, Dave and Michelle joining us this week. Thanks for coming on. Super Thanks fun for times. Us. We are in the ninth hour, literally, uh, on a Saturday night, just just having fun. You might remember Michelle's last appearance was our wonderful women episode mm -hmm. where, our, go ahead. <laughs> where uh we decided that we don't need any more dudes talking about wonder woman because it's it's very female empowerment and let's have some women in here to talk about it for us and also mm -hmm. because i'm i i would have just spouted my usual it was great it was rad <laughs> it was rad I, I i was excited and that's all you would have gotten out of me so we decided to leave it in the hands of three uh uh, great people who could put it a lot more eloquently, and whose opinions, <laughs> let's let's face it, are <laughs> are more uh, more legitimate. Uh, <laughs> and then Dave joined us back. Was that pre Steampunk World's Fair or post? I think it was pre. I think it was pre. pre. It was pre. Yeah. yeah. Pre, yeah. pre Pre World's Fair. Pre World's Fair. <laughs> kind of like a little bit. Little, I don't know if we were hyping it up at that point. Probably were. We we're probably getting there. Either way, we're about to have some fun because we were all hanging out a couple weeks ago. Which it's already like three weeks ago. Three Is it already three weeks ago? Three weeks Jeez, ago. time's flying. I don't remember what you're talking about. We're ta oh, I was gonna get in a roller derby. Over that. I was just going right yeah, into it. Yeah, that was fun. It's <laughs> like what if World's it, Fair was <laughs> back in May. <laughs> when was game night? That was a oh long yeah, that's time true. Ago. Um, but we had this neat thing, and there are a couple pictures posted. I actually neglected to take any photos of that night, despite the fact that like. It was a prime opportunity. We both failed miserably. Yeah, and yeah. I, we felt really bad about it. I'm like, tr I'm, I keep doing this to you. As we're like supposed to be this media outlet and like you know getting the word out and ha and our thing is talking to people who do cool stuff. And then when we finally get the chance to go do a cool thing with the cool people doing the cool stuff, we just don't take any pictures. <laughs> so yeah, like you took a bunch and uh, uh, Babs took a ton. Babs took a ton. Um, so we've had Babs on twice before, Babs who takes pictures, and uh, and go to her page or Michelle's page, 
or go straight to Western Mass Roller Derby. Yes. And uh, and take a look at all the stuff that we didn't take pictures of. Yeah, we we saw it, and we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. But we can't show you any of it because <laughs> we're bad. I mean, I I'm gonna uh, take the easy way out and just and blame the show for being so entertaining, <laughs> in the fact that I I just I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, and I was also surrounded by uh, a lot of very good friends, and it was a good time. We were having too much fun to like get drawn away, right? To be honest, that's okay. Yeah. And we were we were so busy because uh, our table was so popular, it was super and popular. so so properly set up with uh, engaging content. <laughs> you had buttons. We did. Buttons. Yeah, we had we had the pins, pins. Uh, and we, cards. And, and, yeah, had we had pins and cards, yeah. and we had the banner, banner that our that our good friend Adam made for us all those years ago. And uh, we we were rocking it, <laughs> so. Which I had two lengthy conversations with some, you did. some people. You did. One of uh, one of the cops just walked up and started chatting with me. We were talking about stuff, and like he knows one of the some of the wrestling guys. Yep. And I was like, we've had Matthew James on a couple times, and like he's like the announcer, and he's like, oh yeah, and, like, we talk about other stuff, and like he's like, you do this a lot, and I was like, no, was like, <laughs> <laughs> nope. And uh, and the guy who was um who was with uh. Freelance comics and also does his own like t-shirt stuff and he does conventions and, like we sort of talk about comics and conventions and everything dude had never heard of sketch prices so i fixed that right away unbelievable but yeah and we, so we're, we were talking while watching all the action that was going on and explaining it too i was explaining it to you pretty good oh yeah oh yeah yeah definitely because i the, my <laughs> uh, the reason we were at the roller derby was uh because nichelle is a very active member of the local roller derby team the Western, Western Mass. Mass Roller Derby. Yes, yes. What's the team name? So we have an A and B team. You have the Furies who were playing um, that night, and then we have our B team, the Naiads, who are playing their final game tonight. So it's the season closer right. for them. Oh, okay. I was what we meant by final. <laughs> well, there. That's the final game for the B team. Okay. Um, the last game for the A team is going to be in. Two weeks, two and a half weeks. September thirtieth is going to be the last. That's going to be it for us for the rest of the season for that. So, how long is the season? Like, when does it start? It depends. Um, our season will start back up in May or April. I got to double check that. So, May or April usually goes for three, four months. Okay. Um, for that, and then they shut it down, and then you, you know, you practice through mm-hmm. the, you know, the holidays and right, everything right, else, right. and then start back up. Most seasons are not long for roller derby. <laughs> okay. So it's not like football, basketball. We right go a couple works. months, <laughs> and then we're good. <laughs> My going into it, I told this story a lot, too. I'm sure it hasn't gotten old for anyone. My only experience with any sort of uh, roller sports, roller derby, what what have you, is that really bad movie um, with, uh, with the – Chris Klein and um, oh, Rebecca that Romain. One. Oh no! Roller ball, no, which is not roller derby. No, but keep in mind that's what I, that's the image I had in my head. So I was expecting all the ramps and the <laughs> and, and, and and Slipknot to play like in the center of the stage. One of the ices was in that too, right? Ice, LL Cool J was in it. Oh, that yep. Yeah, I was way off. And um and Jean Reno. um, who at the time like everyone when it first came out, it was like Jean Reno who has been in. Both one of the greatest movies ever made, and also one of the worst movies, because Rollerball is hailed as like one of the worst oh. movies ever made. I thought you meant like the professional and like one of the Mission Impossible's. No, he's only in the one Mission Impossible. Yeah, well, I mean, they're all pretty bad. No, they're great. Mm. <laughs> I'm a sucker for Mission Impossible <laughs> movies, hundred percent. I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise. Was the Dean, act, at, wasn't Dean Kane in Rollerball? I don't know. No, it was Chris Klein. It was Chris Klein. Oh yeah, you can get them confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they kind of yeah. look the same, kind of. Chris Klein, who was also in American Pie, who was so. hilarious in American. Remember Pie. American Pie? Remember those? <laughs> <laughs> but that was going into it. That's all. That's what I had in my mind. I knew there was a lot of. Um, there's also the Ellen Page movie. Whip it. Whip it. Yes, which is more accurate. I'm assuming. More accurate. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't know what to expect. What was the Drew Barrymore one. That was with she it. She directed. Oh, that, that was one. also mm-hmm. with it. Or did she, she direct that one? I don't think she directed. She was that in one. it. She was in it. Yeah. Okay. She was in it. The only for some reason I felt like one would be respectable and the other one not so much. So, 
the only difference with Whip It uh-huh. is it's a bank track on the, okay. in the movie. We're flat track. Right. Roller derby. So that's the only difference. Whip It was directed by Drew Barrymore. It was. Nailed it. Is there... Let's see. Are there locations that have a bank track? Um, there. We actually were just talking about this with somebody else. Um, like if you travel... We if, do not. So, okay. So, okay. We'll... we'll We'll get to the sanctioning part. Yep. And in, in shortly. <laughs> so let's say the team gets when they get sanctioned mm-hmm. and they can travel to go uh, have bouts against other sanctioned teams. Mm-hmm. Are there locations where they do have banked tracks? We are not a bank track derby team. So okay. with it a women's flat track roller derby. Oh. So it has to be flat track roller derby, okay. not banked All track right. roller derby. So we're part of we will be part of with it a for that after we're done graduating. Is, is there organization besides with the dove with there the... is there's a couple more um i'm not familiar with the other ones i know there there's like it's like a regional thing uh, this is a national thing there's actually okay. playoffs going on right now uh-huh. um for with it and those are your top teams and things going on with them so that's the the big thing with roller derby is the playoffs as i like to call them i'm having a real <laughs> difficult time not <laughs> going to <laughs> don't don't drop that with the oh like the song <laughs> yeah don't drop that with the are you really looking up rollerball <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on the screen I saw it there 100% he was like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind watching rollerball right now please no he, he never wears his spine protector <gasps> I was sad because I really thought it was Dean Cain. I was, I was trying <laughs> Sorry. to prove everybody wrong. I ruined it. He was actually in one that had roller derby in it. Though. That's oh. fair. He was? Future Sport. Oh, it's a horrible movie. I never, I never heard of it. Because I hadn't heard of it either. That's why I thought it was Rollerball. But <laughs> <laughs> I was obviously wrong. <laughs> That's fair. A, a, a real man. Real man can admit when he's wrong, right? <laughs> We're all about being real men. Is it? It's Is okay. It? No. Anyways. It's okay. So, so roller derby going in. There's a lot of people who can skate a lot. I've tried to skate once in my life. Oh, I, got, I can't. got rollerblades <laughs> for Christmas. I went out and tried to learn how to rollerblade on my rollerblades, and I pulled like every muscle in my chest because <laughs> I I, w- I you would. You were wearing those wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you you were... <laughs> No, man, they're they're blades. Did you fall or something? I was in the process of falling, okay. and I caught myself on the trunk of a car uh-huh. like oh. this. Okay. Like my like arms are extended like eagle. like that of a bird, <laughs> <laughs> and I caught myself like this, and all my weight was like that, and it like pulled yeah everything that'll do it everything, and I was like okay never again <laughs> I'm just not going to be someone that can skate, I will ride a bike, forever <laughs> or walk, I I cannot skate, uh, so going in especially on the quads the quads which are more difficult mm-hmm. are they not yeah they yeah no thank you no they're, thank you they're a pain. There, it's the things you have to do on quad skates, turning and all this other stuff, and using breaking. Because like on rollerblades, you just lean back. Oh no! You just, you just slap your heel down. <laughs> there are stops that you learn in roller derby, specific ways to stop, um, specific ways to do things, to transition, as I call it, which is turning backwards, turning forwards, that sort of thing, and moving your feet. And as my coach likes to say, Coach Mars, use your edges. So you, you know your inside huh. edges, your outside edges. Okay. So yeah, it it's it can be hard. Been doing it almost two years, so. So if someone already knows how to skate and can skate well, mm-hmm. what's like the transition phase to be able to skate doing roller derby? So there's three levels that you have to pass. Okay. Uh, your first level is your basic skills um, that you learn. Your next levels um, are gonna be you know, one upping that and becoming scrimmage eligible and being able to be hit by your other teammates. <laughs> Cause you know, when you first come in, you're they they're not allowed to touch you, but I mean they'll lightly touch you but not slam into you and yeah, you know, fall on your butt. It gets kind of physical. Thing. It gets physical. Right. Um and then your level threes, which um I am in the process of getting to, uh, is your twenty seven laps in five minutes learning how to take a hit, hip whips, you know, that sort of thing. And that makes you eligible to play in games for that. So, it, And is that 
Is that a team thing? Like, is that what your coach, your team has put in, in, in place? Or is that a, nope, like a that league is, thing? That is a league thing. That is a WIFTEDA. You have a set of things. And I'm watching your face every time I say that. What? I don't... <laughs> It is a thing, a set sweating. of a set of um, rules and things that you have to pass for them to be eligible to play in the games. So it's like no one like ridiculously out of shape is going to get up there and like injure themselves somehow because they, you know, they can't really. Qualify you can't just for the, walk on the twenty five in, in five minutes. Right? Twenty five was that twenty seven. Twenty seven in five minutes. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. which I've already done. Right. So. It's but like, if I can only squeeze out ten, you know, you just put me in the game, and then I have. A I would be lucky no. to I have get a heart attack at some point. <laughs> to get two, Sw- swear to God, I would probably get two laps in five minutes. Well, they want to they want to make sure that you're safe on the track, so yeah. you're not hurting anybody or hurting yourself, because mm-hmm. that can happen if you put somebody too soon on the track, um, and you're not ready to do it, which, you know, can happen. Mm-hmm. You don't want to hurt yourself. Right. I'm not saying I haven't hurt myself a couple times, more than a couple times. <laughs> It's but you're a, still in it, which is I'm rad. Because like, like you're not like me, where one minor injury, <laughs> and you just completely give up 100%, never touch it again. The first time I got put on, I was there. So the first maybe month I was there, I'm on a pair of skates, and what happens is I lose my balance mm-hmm. and fall on the back of my head, bonk Oof. my head the first month. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. And then just starting, you know, learning and getting into it more and it's funny because i'll come home and i'm like check out the bruises and i start you start counting how many bruises you got all over you because yeah. it's it's a badge of honor mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to have them dave is that ever shocking to you like when someone comes home and wants you to admire <laughs> the damage to their body you really get used to it after a little while um, so no i mean other than the fact that I usually like, yeah, well, I hurt myself too. Look, look at this look, scratch. Look, 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 I hurt myself. <laughs> You're cat, not so tough. The cat got me uh, real good yeah. earlier. <laughs> cat scratched me this time. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> My thing is usually like, well, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't. I mean, you can show me, but I, I, because like guys have the thing where like I have to fix it. How do I fix all your bruises? I don't know. I what just I, tell her to take some pills. <laughs> you got some Excedrin? You good? <laughs> Uh, bruises make me nervous. You know why? No. Cause my um, uh, my uncle got the flesh eating disease. Really? Through a bruise. Ooh. Huh. Lost his left arm. Necrotizing fasciitis. Mm-hmm. Wow. Bumped his arm in his nightstand. Wow. Yup. Ooh. Yup. See now you don't want me. See that. <laughs> uh. My mom almost lost a finger to MRSA. What is that? That's another like flesh eating Ugh. thing. That's a big thing that you have to worry about with your derby gear. Is oh, cleaning MRSA. it, like oh, staff it. and yeah, stuff like that. that. MRSA, all that. Crap. You're like, ew. Yeah, it was like it was like it was a vacation apartment thing, and like just cut her finger on a on a knife in the drawer. And I thought it was fine. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, you got to nope. worry about all that stuff too, because yep. you got to, you know. You're sweating. Sanitize. Sanitize. And, and I can tell you right now, it's it's not a nice smell afterwards. Oh, you don't, I, I it's bet. Like, well, because, like, it's not, it's, it's got to be some porous material because you're, you're strapping cloth to yourself. Yep. And then the padding isn't like, it's not like it's, uh, what's the terms I'm looking for? Like an antimicrobial. Or, like, there's not, like, if you get bed bugs, you put this plastic barrier over the bed. I know. Yeah, I know. You know, so it's not <laughs> like it's, you know, a plastic kind of thing. The, uh-huh. the hard shells, shells are. But um, even when I was doing wrestling, like, we had to diligently wash down the mats every day. Yeah, yeah. Like, if not before and after, you yeah. know. Yeah, and we have a spray. I have a spray. I buy the Odebon stuff. So after every practice, it's sprayed into my helmet, yeah, sprayed yeah. into my derby gear. See, that after every practice thing, that's not quite true. Because <laughs> um, there are times that I get in her car and she left her derby gear in there overnight and... It's ripe. It's oh, not. It's, it's not good. It's, it's bad. Not, it's, it's in my it's, car right it's now. Not, yeah, it yeah, stinks. It's, it's horrible. Uh-huh. So you wonder why I made you ride here by yourself. <laughs> if anything, like I, I just that's a, another badge of honor. It is. Like, Although like a, it, it could be how, worse. How smelly is your gear? Me, actually, it's it's bad. My my uh, my friend Cher, she's she got in my car one day and she puts her derby gear in my car and I'm like, I'm like what does that smell? And she goes. It might be my derby gear. And I'm like, it smells like Fritos. It is so gross. 
Yeah. Just, just for the record, that one sounds about accurate. Yeah, a, I've experienced that. Before. A bunch of guys standing around. You have no idea how nasty these relative women are. They're bad. I mean, they they'll put they'll make just about anyone blush. They really will. That's bad. They don't care about the smell. They don't care about the sweat. Nope. They don't care about the bruises of the blood. You're standing there with them, and you're like, really, I didn't need to know that about you, but it's it's fine. Now you do. Yeah. <laughs> now you so, do. So I'm guessing it's it's uh. It's a more sanitary level than than like League of Their Own, where it's like, well, so and so doesn't change her socks because it might be bad luck. Yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> we're bad. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> well, there are. Yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> no. So so roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> we've all, we've used uh, a product called Enbach in the past, yeah. which is also like an aerosol spray. It's like, good old Enbach. Yep. We've used that at our uh, every job. now and then. I'll like catch a whiff, yeah, out of nowhere. I'll be like, mm-hmm. "What? What? Where is? Who's, who's using doing that? that? I don't see this. <laughs> Who is antibacterializing? <laughs> That's a word. <laughs> it's a it's a hospital grade cleaner. That they, you can, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. just hose it down and hope that you don't catch something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it also uh, uh, cancerous in the state of California? Really? They consider it to be a cancer-causing agent. Just in the one state, though. So I'm pretty Just sure California, California pretty much thinks California everything th- is yeah, cancerous, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these mics we're talking into, California probably thinks like it, it could cause cancer. The ears somehow, you know, whatever. Most likely. Cancer. I mean, <laughs> if not our episodes, then... <laughs> these these days, what what doesn't cause cancer? Everything. So, so the derby. The derby. I kind of, like, how did you... How did you get into it? So, uh... It's weird. Uh, a friend of mine, <laughs> it's actually a weird, it, not a weird story, it's a funny story. I work with, I used to work with a girl at Home Depot um, who had mentioned she started playing roller derby, and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. And I just sat there and sat on it, and I actually had looked at PVRD, Pioneer Valley Roller Derby, uh, mm-hmm. uh, prior to this, and kept thinking about it because we kept going to the craft show that Brett does stars and skulls oh, yeah. yeah stars and skulls yeah. crafty and craft i kept, bear, and I kept walking by him and kept you know eh, and i kept telling him like you know that would be really awesome to do and i'm like but i don't want to drive all the way up to northampton i don't want to deal with this mm-hmm. i ended up going online and found um the team i'm on now which wasn't western mass or there was paradise city we had merged with another team okay. about a year and a half ago or mm-hmm. so um i found them I called up my friend Becky and I'm like, should I do this? Should I not? You're coming to practice. She goes, and she <laughs> called me up and she's like, you're coming, right? And I'm like, I guess I'm coming. <laughs> so I showed up. Uh, they give you your gear ahead of time. They give you gear to borrow okay. uh, to try it out. I hadn't... It's funny how many organizations are like that. Yeah. Because like they're, they're so inclusive. They're not like, oh, you can't play if you don't bring your own stuff. It's no, like... we're very, It's it was, they were very welcoming and, you know, willing to help you out and go okay i said i haven't been on skates in years Mm -hmm. especially quad skates i've always did the inline skating always did that so quad skates were a whole new thing i can tell you i was like a fish out of water felt like a little you know derpy on skates Mm because i'm like Mm -hmm. what do i do (laughs) um and ever since then it's been it's been great i love it i love the camaraderie with the girls and just being able to do this and be out in the community and stuff like that so it was it was a push by somebody i knew she was like you're doing this you're doing this i said okay i thought that was a pun for a second <laughs> was, she came home after the first couple of practices and she's like i got to hit people <laughs> and she just seemed so happy about it and i was like well she's not hitting me so Don't i'm down for it you. i'm good it's 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 a win-win for you yeah it's a win-win for both of you There's no yeah. downside I don't beat my husband. Let's just make that clear. I do not beat my husband anymore. <laughs> oh, that is so wrong! Damn. <laughs> it's going to the best of clip. The two, uh, the two husbands get it. <laughs> That's not fair. We know. Not. We know the truth. That is not right. <laughs> but seriously, she she doesn't beat Dave, and nor does my wife beat me. For for the record. <laughs> Neither does mine. Roller derby. My wife doesn't. Do that. <laughs> if, if you need help, tap on the mic twice. <laughs> and, ow. <laughs> For the record, I just got hit. By who? By Alex. <laughs> I'm way over. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so we, we we get into uh, Interscape that night. Mm-hmm. Is the, the name location. And uh, the former uh, place of uh, business of Mr. Uh, Zach Sharbs from the local co-op podcast, mm-hmm. 
Like I've sent one snap to like the guys, and he's like, "Yo, Interscape!" <laughs> like, uh, How'd you recognize that? He used to he used to it's like the DJ carpet. there and stuff, and all in that. the same carpet yeah. for years. <laughs> same smell too. Same smell. Yeah. And that was the first time I'd ever been inside of a roller rink since Rollerway. Remember that? Remember Rollerway was still it exists? Rollerway? No, what was the one that Danfield one? That no, no, what was the one that Six Flags took over? Roller. That was Rana Roll. Rana Roll. Rana Roll still exists. Was I thought, was roller, I thought it was Rollerway. There's Rollerway and there's Rana Roll. Which one's in there? Because right, like so we, the Six Flags had... HR building, like where you audition and stuff, yeah. it's still it's still a roller rink. Like the floor. The floor still has lines on it. <laughs> and it's still a hardwood. So there was one in Enfield, uh, like where where that that dumpy comic shop is. Right. And right. There was, some, there was one that used to be there. I went to a, a, a birthday party there. I, we all did as kids at some point. But that one is long gone. And that one, that was just the roller rink. I don't know if it was ever named anything. I thought there was, I, 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 there's a Rana Roll and there's a... I thought the Rana Roll was in Agawam. Maybe. That was the HR building. What's the one? Joe's uh, researching right yeah, now. Is he searching it? <laughs> <laughs> I think you. I think the one at Six Flags Roller Way. Anyways, the last time I had been in a, like a, a roller <laughs> rink like that was back before Six Flags had bought out that building. <laughs> And like I went to a friend's birthday party there and was just miserable because again, <laughs> I can't skate. My last one, <laughs> my last one was was also a, a birthday party, but that was for uh, an ex girlfriend who was turning thirty. <laughs> and so uh, a, a mutual friend of ours like calls up. The, this was the inner skate that was in um, the Hadley Mall. It's still yep. there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, still there. but it was that one. And she calls up. She's like, "Yeah, I'm calling up to make an appointment for." A, for a birthday for my friend. <laughs> she's like, all right, how old is she? And she's like, 30. <laughs> like expecting like an eight year old. <laughs> no, she wants this. And uh, and so like I didn't skate at all because I can't. So I watched everyone else have fun on skates. And that was fine. And you hung out in the arcade. Is there an arcade? Yeah. I like to think there's an arcade. It's in a weird spot. Like you have to get through. Yeah. They had a laser tag. I was really good at. I was gonna say they, the one where I, it has laser. Tag. I did the laser tag, but like you have to walk through the rink to get to it. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really make you embrace the humiliation for not being able to skate. <laughs> so yes, inner skate. We walk in. The and doorman, very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I use my husband for things that have to do with roller derby. <laughs> they gave me a job. I did a job. It wasn't the fun to, job though. I wanted the taping job. He gets to help. I got the job where I had to like. Decide who could come. You, in you had the list. And talk to he had the list. You had the list. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, that's like you that's had all important. the power. Like you are not allowed in. <laughs> and I had to every five minutes go over to him and go, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Don't know who that is. <laughs> that's, that's because you guys don't give very good lists. The list is not finalized. Yeah. Uh, the list goes through many edits. The list, yeah, the list. <laughs> but like we we got our little our, our pamphlet, and it showed us the teams, and it had a rundown of the rules. But even though we could just read the page of rules, because one of the problems with rotary is that like it's a tough thing to understand if you're not already mm-hmm. in it. Yeah. If you haven't experienced it and you haven't watched it, and like no one's like kind of walked you through it, that's usually a thing of like, wait, so they they just skate, right? And then and then someone goes, no, honey, come here. Let's, it, let's, let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> and like that was kind of our first like twenty minutes. Like we got set up, we hung out, we talked to our friends. Brett was there. We you know, we looked around, and then it was like, okay, what's gonna happen? <laughs> who's who's why is their helmet striped why is their helmet have a star well i don't understand like michelle watch us through it very patiently I, I don't mind doing it held our hands like, <laughs> explained to us how to i got i was literally getting play by play and it was great because it's one thing to know the rules but then to also see the rules enforced mm-hmm. and like the rate of play like what's actually happening so this person's going to do this and then then they score points and then it was Nichelle was also like, okay, so did you see how that just happened? That was worth this many whatevers. <laughs> and then like three minutes, like it was a, it was a uh, slaughter, decisive victory, probably a little more correct. It was it was a, vi- the Western Mass team awesome. had a had a uh, uh, a very good night with the yes, points we did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> against That's... against the Hartford team. Yeah, which being from Connecticut myself. 
I was, you know, I, I almost kind of wanted to root for the Hartford team because the, one, they're called the the Whale Hers, right? Whalers. Wh- whale, like Hartford Whalers. I thought the I thought the W-A-I-L. her was I L. Yeah, wh- that was the pun. Yep. Okay, yeah, because yep. yep. I knew there was a there's always there's a lot of puns in roller derby, which <laughs> yes. which has it's. It's, okay? it's, it's very. He's tapping his chest. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's close. And and uh, I remember there was one with the whalers. I couldn't remember if it was the whale hers, like women, or if it was, but it's the whale w a i like there were whaling people beating the shit out of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the ever everyone in Connecticut knows who the whalers are. That was the one professional sports team that we had, and then we lost them. Yep, it's gone. And then we lost them. Which and then seeing the colors of the other team, I was like, am I supposed to root for them? Because. Right? They As a member of the Greater Harford Breed Mustache Club, <laughs> and like our our logo is the blue and green, and like, that's the Harford Whalers, yep. and it's like it's meant to look like the Whalers logo, but as a beard and mustache. And, and I was like, I feel camaraderie, but that's not who invited us here tonight. Yep, yep. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Hartford Whalers, their home track is Nomads. Nomads, which is in Connect- Windsor, Windsor, Connecticut. South Windsor, South Windsor, South Windsor, South Windsor Connecticut. I don't actually. It's, it's right down Route Five. It's. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's their home track because they do play multiple areas, but I'm I think it's their home track. I have to double check that. Because this was the the match that you guys went to was actually the rematch that happened between um, the teams maybe a month before, month a and a half, month before? month and a half prior, and it happened at Nomads, and it was an a brutal match. These girls beat on each other, and it was a very close match, and they uh-huh. ended up winning, but it, it was, was close. It, it was they cl- meaning so much Western closer. Mass, Western, Western Mass, Mass yep. yeah. Um, the team you're supposed to root for. Just, right? <laughs> um, but it was a much closer match, and I was actually surprised at the end of the match, and I was just like, wait, what happened? But they're, they're our closest um, team, mm-hmm. and and they're, we all get along, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it's, it was a good like rivalry mm-hmm. kind of thing going on. So when we, we scheduled everything, it was like, okay, let's do this as the rematch. Mind you, Mayweather was going on. Mayweather right. and McGregor was going on. So yeah, we're like, yeah, literally how do we as, figure this yeah, out? Yeah. <laughs> they still got a really, got good, a really good crowd, crowd. for that late at night. We did. We had 183 people. Yeah, it was, and like I remember you were you were mentioning to me. Normally, you do that a lot earlier, earlier in the day. Not on a um, Saturday though. Right. This was our first Saturday. Um, this is the first time that we were able to get beer. Because beer does well with derby, mm-hmm. yep. as we've noticed. Beer and derby. <laughs> beer and derby, um, and we did pretty well, and it was it was good. To and have the crowd, it. the crowd was really into it too. And like once you get to to know it, and like I understand what's happening now, mm-hmm. it's very easy to be like, "Holy shit! Did you see? Did you see her just plow through the? I already forgot the name. What's the jammer. The jammer. Yeah. There the jammer. It is. There yeah. it is. See, I spent the after getting it explained to me all night, over and over again, because I'd keep coming back with questions. I spent the the next day because my wife is is also very supportive of me and the things that I do, and she always asks me how was it, mm-hmm. even though I know she doesn't she doesn't <laughs> give a shit, but she pretends she does. That's yeah. why she's the yeah. best. And I, then I go into the, and then I start trying to explain it, and yeah. I know I explained it very wrong, <laughs> but she doesn't know that. So what, what was fun was like I'm standing at our our little table, and I was talking to either of the guys about comics or about the show or about whatever, but like. Up like almost against the the wall, the, the divider from the track, from like you know the common area, is like there's Jared and Michelle sitting next to each other, and like she's like pointing out stuff, and I see her like gesturing, and I see Jared nodding and everything, and I'm like, <laughs> man, I want to be up there. <laughs> and then, um, you know, like a, a while later, time goes by in the second half, and like Jared comes back, and you know he's hanging out with me and Brett, and we're chatting about stuff, and Jared's like, uh, who 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 was your jammer? For the, for the like the second half, the uh, really fast one. Yeah, the Lammy. Tall. Yes, Lammy, Lammy yep. is. And so Jar is like, <laughs> she just made seven full laps, like unanswered. Like, <laughs> as, as they use the term unanswered, like I recognize that from other sports. <laughs> like, They're not unanswered because she did score points. Right, but like she she made it look very easy. She does. Like, I mean, it was also to the end of the match, and a comeback was unlikely. So I'm not saying that people were necessarily. Maybe they it was a little bit easier, and also people were probably fucking tired. If you'll excuse my language. <laughs> no, it's, it's um, it gets no. Lammy's just really she's, fast. Yeah. She is. She's super fast. She's amazing to watch. She's a great skater. Um, I think I saw her skating backwards on one foot at one point. <laughs> yes, she does. She she yeah. does stuff like that. She's she's crazy. <laughs> I love I love telling her all the time. I'm like, when you get through that pack of girls and you're jamming, it's the the cheese smile, as I like to call it, because she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going. <laughs> she was a machine. It she was is. it was crazy. And just like 
it's also infuriating because she makes it look so easy. I mean, all of the women out there made it look so easy to just like, oh, just slap some skates on and go glide around. Mm-hmm. And I know I would literally die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uh, w- when you first start and like you're getting taught how to do the stuff and yep. you're practicing and you're going through technical things. Like at what class is like, here's how you fall down. We do and, get taught that. And here's how you get back up. Because yeah. like Can if, you... if I went down any of those times, like it's going to be a while. <laughs> how do you fall? What's the proper way to fall on skates? So the proper, there's, there's a couple ways. So the first fall is you, what they call you fall small. So you keep your fingers in. So they don't get run over. Yeah, it's important. And Oof. you you drop down <laughs> on. So pretty much, <laughs> it makes me cringe. So pretty much, you fall. Um, it's a full fall. I can't think of the term right now because I'm having a brain fart. But you fall down and you fall down. You're pretty much in a down on the ground with your knees on the ground and you're in a like a elbows tucked in. And, yeah, everything okay. tucked in. Yeah, and then nothing that get can up, get run over. Nothing that can get run over. Yeah. Um, you also get taught how to fall on one knee, okay. both knees. Yeah. Um, I love doing those because we do the guitar spin <laughs> <laughs> in practice. <laughs> and I get, I, get, I get the look of, really? I'm like, but it's fun. <laughs> this um, is for your safety. I know, it's for safety, but I least, find it fun. <laughs> so imagine doing something like that is just to restabilize yourself. So to restabilize yourself, yeah. um, you do get taught to get up on your toe stop okay. and get up fast. You want to get up as quickly as possible yeah, with that. Yeah, you want to recover quick right. with that. Because um, if you don't recover quickly, <clears throat> things can happen. Right. Either you're left behind or the pack's running Or the you. entire pack falls on them. Yeah, yeah. It happens. <laughs> um, we had that happen in practice. Like, right after this game, we're all practicing, and we're in the middle of a um, scrimmage, like, drill. And we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, one girl falls backwards, and I just fall over. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, hey, my crap's in your face. This is great. <laughs> But yeah, you have a lot to of learn. bonding. There's a there's a lot of bonding. We are very like it's. There are things you touch. Oh, yeah, she, you have to, she has a derby wife. She I have does. a derby wife. She does. A dive. A dive. Yeah. It's when you... <laughs> that that just close, doesn't sound that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an interesting combo. That, <laughs> a wor- a... that just no. Werby. 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 That Werby? sounds worse. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. A wife of derby. A... Yeah, my derby wife. She's okay. she's a she's a good chick. She's a good. She's funny. Because she tells David all the time that she has to share me with her, <laughs> with him. No, Wait, I'm not. What, I'm not fighting her on it. No. It's fine. It's... <laughs> what was the what, what was the third way of falling? You, did you say there was three? Did I hear the, three? The so there's your knee slides that um and the being small being small pretty much yeah. and just making sure that you get up out of that pack pretty fast okay. with that because like you go down your natural instinct is to reach and catch it is your natural yeah, instinct yeah I'm but planting my hands you <laughs> I, know, like, so the first time fingers out oh yeah 100% <laughs> yeah. splayed oh yeah that's you well, get actually, the you get the <laughs> the funny thing about it is everything she teaches me about derby makes me think it's the opposite of what you would normally react to do <laughs> you have to stay crouched down sort of uh, you know, stance. like in a derby stance right, yeah. your knees are bent you have to keep your elbows in so you're taking you're every element of balance yeah. right, out right. of skating which is what we three would be trying to do the whole time <laughs> oh yeah I would not be die. I'd be a bird and they're like <laughs> and they're like like little like cannonballs and just running into each other and even that you don't get to hit each other exactly you have to stop each other so it's about you 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 could hit two inches further back on the thigh and that would be a foul or would it be foul it's not a foul whatever it's called back block Back block, which sounds like a foul. Um, <laughs> that's not basketball. So what's the term? Back block. Penalty? Uh, penalty? No. Penalty. That's penalty. hockey. It's a that's penalty. close enough. Okay. You get put in the, so you the penalty, the penalty box. box. Penalty yeah, you box? Penalty box. Okay. As I always call the, the no-no box. box. <laughs> or two inches farther, farther forward on the thigh, and that's perfectly fine. You have to. So you're taught how to hit properly. Okay. So you're in derby stance, and you stand, and you're you can't use your elbows. <laughs> so we can't do flying flying buttress over here. I just then... I just made a uh, <laughs> like, I wanna so, use my elbows. So your oh. <laughs> your your hands are in here, so when you're up against somebody, you're taking your shoulder and you're, you know, jabbing back and you're doing this. There are certain areas you can hit mm-hmm. and you know, as I get told all the time, use what your mama gave you. <laughs> Use your assets. Right. <laughs> so, you know, use your butt to all, swing around. It's and all in hit the hips. The, it's all in the hips. And okay. It's, and it's hitting. And it's, it is a very, it may not look graceful, but it is, to me, it is a graceful way of, you know, getting your body over, okay. which I have an issue with, apparently. <laughs> so, so you're shifting your hips and your shoulders, yep. which are very important 
and to, to your center of gravity to your center of gravity while you're rolling on wheels mm-hmm. exactly oh my God. which you can't freak out which my first scrimmage, no no i will <laughs> <laughs> no and i can tell you i can tell you this my first scrimmage i pretty much shit a brick i'm like standing there i'm like what do i do like everything in your head just goes <laughs> oh yeah yeah it takes a lot of practice to like get something in there well enough where like you don't have to think about it well anymore. this is why you have your your teammates yeah and there's um a couple of the girls i looked at them and i go just throw me around <laughs> and they would literally take you and whoosh, move right. you to side to side yeah, move yeah. you here move you here you know so you can you know so you know what's going on with mm-hmm. that so but yeah there's parts and things like you're 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 moving but stable okay for that yeah a lot of the girls don't like doing um uh, push your partner with me because i won't move <laughs> I don't move. They're like, "Why aren't you moving?" And they're pushing me, and they're they're like, "You're a mass." And I'm like, "Yep, not moving. Can't go." Oh, anywhere. is that like when they're gonna whip you forward or something? No, Only so they're pushing from behind. So what it is is it's teaching you how. So if somebody comes up behind you, one of the drills we do, if somebody comes up behind you yeah. and they're pushing you. Yeah. You know, they want you to be stable and moving around uh-huh. and not fall over. Okay. So it teaches you stability in you know moving right. and and catching that person behind you uh-huh. and you know on the side of you that sort of thing. So it does teach you stability in that sense without moving at the moment. All right. So if your teammate comes up mm-hmm. and like starts pushing, is that to get you out of the way or to get you in the way? It is to get you. If your teammate's moving you around the track. Yeah. Because you, you have a wall that right. you have to block the other jammer. Right. It's to get you in the in the way of that jammer and okay. moving you right. where you need to go okay. Okay. for that. Yeah. So it's a good drill. Yeah, they actually have one of your walls is three girls with their backs to the jammer and one skating your brace backwards. Is your brace. And basically shifting them to the left or shifting she's them to the right. The like, come at them. Yeah. yeah, like one person just yeah. slamming the jammer in and out of the way. <laughs> and then you turn, so your brace, so what happens is, is you have you have your brace and the brace is gonna turn, you know, to where the jammer is if you can't get that entire wall over, and then you have another brace, and then mm-hmm. you have it's it's a bunch of moving bodies right yeah. <laughs> when it comes to that but at the same time the other team is also right there doing the same thing the other thing. team is doing the same yeah. thing blocking your jammer yeah and you're trying to get your jammer through you're blocking their jammer so it's, it's and then you're bumping into them you're bumping into them right. you're trying to get them not to you know and so with this wall of people it's like how can anyone ever skate past them and it's it's a very because we're talking about it, and I'm like, no, nah, it's impossible. It is. It is possible. But we witnessed oh, it yeah. happen. Oh, yeah. we saw it happen a bunch of times. I can, tell, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you very much that I do not jam well. I don't because I'm not used to doing it. They, mm-hmm. and, but they teach you how to do it. Mm-hmm. So when I jam, it's I stay in one spot because my mind just goes, no, I just stay in one spot. Right. Yeah. You're not supposed. To, you're supposed to move around. Yeah. yeah. And. When I jam, I can't. It, I'm lucky if I can get through half the time with some of the girls I have on my team. So I'd rather, most times, I'd rather block. Mm-hmm. Um, you saw Lammy do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, she just she does what I she does what they call juking. Yep. So she makes you think you're going this way, and then I, I never like that. Term. Jams across, and she's right in between you. There, there was a guy that I used to play hero clicks with, and uh, and when he would like make Spider Man dodge because he had super senses. Yep. And the way he was like a juke. Out of the way, like Sp- <laughs> like in the Matrix, like me a juke, and I'm like, I feel like Spider Man wouldn't juke. I feel like Spider Man dodges. Yeah, he just he's just uses spider sense, and like, but every time he said it, like I cringe. And, and like, like he he's he's you... avoiding, he's dodging, he's yeah. not juking. Yeah, a juke is what what Lammy would be doing. Like yeah. I'm gonna make you think I'm going one direction. And I'm going to juke you out, and then I'm yeah. I I think that guy's an idiot. Who is he? Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I pointed him out before in the comic shop. Huh. Yeah, he tried to write a comic one time. Huh. Yeah, it didn't work out as well. Huh. Yeah. Probably because he doesn't use proper verbiage. Probably. God I mean, damn it. <laughs> put a lot of dark uh, dark poems in his comic book, too, for some reason. To fill pages. Oh, well, there you anyway, go. Anyway, uh, so. So juking. <laughs> so juking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, st- I'm still not comfortable with that word. Okay, her moving. I know, I understand what it is. Yeah, yeah. We do that in Frisbee, too. Yeah. Yeah. So she does it. Um, Vixen has also jammed. Um, Vixen does it. Vixen, I like watching her jam, her jam because she's got she's got like super long legs and she's mm. super tall and she just goes, "I'm gonna step over you," <laughs> and I'm over. <laughs> I'm done. We're good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just move out of my way. We're good. Those are my points. That's, yep. t- that's terrifying because it's not like you're stepping over someone with your foot. No, you like, gotta skate on your foot. <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> Still no. No. It's not gonna. It's not, not gonna, gonna happen. happen. I don't. Does does. 
Do, can dudes do roller derby? There is a is male, male roller derby. There's a male, male derby. Yeah. There is mass uh, mass maelstrom up in Green maelstrom Green. like M A L E. Yes, mm-hmm. look them up. We need to talk about the puns, by the way. Oh please, derby yeah. names. We we got to get into that before before we run out of time because like is that a is it like a rite of passage to come up with your derby name? Like does it? It doesn't necessarily have to be a pun because wasn't. What but was her name? Like puke face? Thing. Puke face. Puke face is puke. amazing. But I puke. feel like I feel like classically, like a good derby pun is you know is is gonna like keep the the tradition. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because because uh, you were when you were trying to come up with yours, and someone's like steamroller, and, and me, I'm like and me and Brett are like what? Yep. Go go home. What or you- I got I got so <laughs> when I put it out there when I finally decided after a couple months of playing you know being on Mm -hmm. roller derby i was like i'm gonna put it out there i got enough geeky friends i'm like (laughs) i'm gonna put it out there see what comes up yeah and the list of names that certain people got you gave me a couple brett was just like oh yeah he's he's a monster (laughs) um he's a monster punster there was a there was a couple girls uh that i that i knew that gave me a couple babs gave me a couple and Mm -hmm. it was down to um alpha new alpha new herrick yeah um and hp shovecraft (laughs) And I ended up going with HP Shovecraft, which I love. Yeah. And oh, yeah. apparently 90% of the people that I walk by look at it and go, what? <laughs> and I'm like, seriously? So you actually think that makes it better. Read a book. <laughs> I think I think, I think, if the, I think if the wordage is so good yeah. that you confuse people, like, that it just makes it even better. We were at a wrestling event. You're like, is that a boat? What kind of craft is that? Well, so it was funny. <laughs> it was funny because for the longest time I got hp shove her craft and i'm like Uh, no this is not what this is not even close the first jacket i got was i had a sweatshirt made and it was with our naiad logo Mm -hmm. or no paradise logo and i'm looking at it and i'm like oh this is great he turns around he goes do you realize what that says and i'm like there's an r it says shover craft and i'm like no this is not what it is so i went and got a marker they tried to interpret the pun it's not a hovercraft no it's not a hovercraft um so then Everybody started calling me Shover, for short, and yeah. I'm like, okay, that's fine, because yeah. you know, yeah. or I'm getting, I now it's like, so we call you Shover, right? And I'm like, no, that is not my derby name. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I had my shirts made, mm. the R was put in there. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, I'm so angry that. just listening to this. <laughs> oh, I got pissed. I was. There pissed. are some great the, names though, ones that just, and not even all of them are puns. Milf of Magnesia. <laughs> so good. Milk of Magnesia, I love. My my personal favorite, it's actually the woman who got her into uh, Derby, is uh, Pork Chop Express. Yes. Pork Chop? Pork Chop Express. Pork Chop, Pork Chop Express is from uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, I'm great. looking at you a little less I'm now. Sorry. I'm not going to lie, but you've never seen Big <gasps> Trouble I've also in never China. seen The Hobbit. I've also never seen Lord of the Rings. I've also never okay. seen Blade Runner. I can forgi- That's okay. We can forgive you. <laughs> okay, that, that was a little harder. I can forgive you for The Lord of the Rings, but never seen I've Big never Trouble seen... in Little China is... Okay, uh, here's another well, I, one that... I've, I've seen Big Trouble, but I wouldn't have connected the name. No, and again, it's yeah. more of a remembering... Kind of a thing, and I'm just like it because even I was like, "Poor Top Express." What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've it also never very seen. Happy. The, I've also never seen the Goonies, but what? the the best. I'm not sure. How do you do a show with him? How do you sit across the desk from him? <laughs> because the Goonies is a bad movie. Oh, <gasps> even if that's true, it's okay, it's okay, which I'm okay. not admitting, you should still have seen okay. the Goonies. <laughs> I think David just blew his top. You still have seen. That's like saying <laughs> I've tried watching Blade Runner. That's like saying The Princess Bride is a bad movie. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let's not, and I let's know not that have say said ridiculous that. things so, here. Those people sound insane. Those people I, are crazy. Th- I agree with you. Crazy people. I make them watch it. I've watched it like... Mowage. <laughs> Mowage. <laughs> Ken was just sending me snaps from that today. He was, he was, he was watching it. Um, but yes, pun names. They're, they're brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're brilliant. I fully, 100% endorse the HP Shovecraft. We, uh, when we got there... And uh, like it was me and Jar and, and Brett when we were hanging out. I don't. I'm not sure if you were there for the for the for if Dave was there for like the initial conversation. I was still, he was still man in the door. I was yeah. still working. He was working. But, he was man in the door. But one of us. But one of us goes. All right. So what's our derby names? Like what would they be? <laughs> and like we all had to think. Like don't spring this on me. Like I got. It got really quiet in, for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and so like you know like an hour goes by and I was like I got it. But then like after a week or so I'm like no that won't that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> Because uh, cause I came up with Victor Von Zoom. I 
was there for that conversation. Yeah. Part of it. Because okay. I had to run away to go deal with something. But, but after thinking about it, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not the fast one. No. I wouldn't be the, I can't be Zoom. Right, right. And when I first mentioned it, I think Jared was like, so Conan what? <laughs> and I'm like, eh. Conan the Shovebarian. I, I thought... <laughs> Honestly, shove Nan. I would. I would. I just go... had the word shove stuck in there. <laughs> Honestly, I would go with Conan the Slamarian. All right, right. Mm. Yeah. The the Jamarian. No, Jam. What, what did I just say? Hey, man. Slamarian. I'm, I'm not a fast one. You don't necessarily have to be fast to be a jammer. You just got to be good at getting through people. Yeah, if you just knock them over, then just knock them over. There's a there's a girl um that I watched. Someone with less. I don't even have a single in, in, inclination of what my roller derby name would be, so I can't even. No, I can't. Say I've been much. thinking about it for two years, and she put on the team, and I have nothing. I put him. Dave. I put him as Mr. Like, Shovecraft. Just, yeah, Mr. Shovecraft. <laughs> well, there's Actually, a girl. There's a girl. Craft, there is a girl on our team um who's ballistic miss missile. Uh huh. Um, and her husband is. Ballist, uh, ballistic missiles primary target ah. <laughs> for that. I'm okay um, with that one. There's Vixen and her husband is Mr. Vixen on his shirt, his uh-huh. Western Mass Roller Derby shirt. I can be owned. It's fine. I own you. It's okay. <laughs> Property of marriage. Own. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, oh, it's yeah. like the Hell's Angels. Yes. The property of. <laughs> <laughs> property of she got her shirt that says that you know if you can read this he fell off it'll be fine (laughs) (laughs) don't mind that I can handle that I had a really I felt really proud a couple weeks ago because my wife and I were driving somewhere I can't remember but there's a dude uh, on a motorcycle in front of us Mm -hmm. and he had a vest on you know patches and stuff and on the back it said KOF like K period O period F period and I was like I bet you any amount of money (laughs) that KO stands for Knights of and like, we just like, like kind of chuckled off, you yeah, know, whatever, yeah. whatever. And then she Googled it. Like she Googled like KOF, uh, like yeah, Enfield, Connecticut or something like that. Yeah. And it was nights of like, I can't remember what it was, <laughs> but like I was a hundred percent right. And I was like, I fucking knew it. <laughs> people love calling themselves knights of shit. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's just sure. a, yeah, we're a, we're a knight. I'm a knight of something. On my motorcycle. Yep. Knights, knights and lords. On my steed, Lord yeah. Big yeah. lords fans. Yeah. Man, I bet you haven't killed any dragons. For the record, I would love to be a knight. I would go all Ben Wyatt on it and like when he gets knighted in uh, <laughs> Parks and Rec. Actually, I know a couple of those guys. I should actually ask them if they've ever killed any dragons. Yeah. Just And if they say no, just give them that same you look You should I rip their vest off. Just JR for not having... Um, seen the Goonies? <laughs> seen, you know, liked the Goonies anyway. I haven't seen it. I have not seen what the... Go- I haven't seen the Sandlot. I <gasps> haven't seen... Yeah, I'm okay with that. You're killing me, Smalls. I know. I saw yeah, everyone sandwich. always says that, and I'm like, <laughs> you got the freckles. The kid with the freckles says that, right? The, the Babe Ruth ball or something. Who's, who's an adult now and looks really strange. He looks strange they, as a they kid. They all, every child like, star oh. ends up looking strange as an adult. Speaking of child stars, you guys got to go see It. That was, no, that was fantastic. no, no. But anyways, roller derby. <laughs> uh, it, it ended in a decisive victory with the Western Mass team uh, winning uh, handily. But it was still a good match. There was one, uh, one scary moment uh, where someone someone took a hard fall. Uh, there was or injury some, time. Yep. There was injury mm-hmm. time, which was also which happens. Yeah, I I I was surprised it took so long. Um, <laughs> like I'm not sitting there hoping for an injury, but I right. was like I could see where because if I put myself the, in that position, the fact there was only one. I would have zero night, fingers. Like, actually, there were. There weren't injuries, but people, you know, sore, hurt, whatever. Right, yeah, but yeah. she, when I found out what had happened to her, she was she was hurting. Hmm. Something had happened. She, I think it was something bonking her head or, you know, uh. something. I've had it happen. I've bonked my head now mm. twice. In, <laughs> in fairness, on the injury thing, they've had three girls injured. Injured have, to where they can't play just from practices. We uh. need to we need to put some um, <laughs> non-juju, bad juju things going on in our rink. It's It's weird. <laughs> Like the good voodoo. We need yeah. good voodoo, something yeah, yeah, yeah. to, you know, we need she to like comes sage. Home, I'm like, cleanse, cleanse the, the arena. She's fine. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there are things that my body has happened to my body that I'm, I'm like, hmm, that, that doesn't feel good. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> but it was, uh, you know, it was like, it was a scary moment, but it was also, you know, everyone takes a knee. Yep. Um, everyone just kind of going to let the professionals do their thing. And then when everyone is good to go, it's. It's it's a, it's good sportsmanship, and I like seeing good sports good sportswomanship. It's it's just it's good to see that it's not you don't just see that like on the football field. You see it everywhere, even if it's you know at a local rollerway. Uh huh. 
That's amazing. As as much as they beat each other up out on the track, beforehand and afterhand, they're all joking around with each other. They're all hanging yeah, out yeah. in the parking lot. So it's it's it it really is like you said, sportsmanship. It's they're there to to put on an event. They're there to put on a show for the fans, and it's, they do it really well. And like that's th- I could see like on a person like if I were in a full like combat contact sport like that. I'd probably get pissed, <laughs> but like you know, <laughs> just, you know, it's it's so easy to just lose it. But like, well, like even during warming up, and when and like it's like oh well they're 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 warming up or they're practicing or they're just skating or whatever. At one point, like both entire teams were were uh, were on the track mm-hmm. and like skating in single file, like holding each other's hips. <laughs> I'm like. Are, what are they doing? I thought they're they're about to play. <laughs> they're supposed to them. hate each other. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's like well, it was like one really long centipede. Now I was like, that looks really cool. <laughs> like they just they just do that together. Like they're but they're enemies. Not really. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah. I guess everything isn't just Game of Thrones. No, <laughs> it'd be funny though. World of Derby with swords would be. Amazing. Complicated. <laughs> and did we did we and just dragons. come up with a new thing? Roller Derby with swords. Is that a new thing? We could a little derby that. with swords. It'd be a little dangerous. Sword or derby. Sword or derby. <laughs> Roller swordy. <laughs> Game of skates. Skate of thrones. Skate God of thrones. thrones. <laughs> I like the skate of thrones. Okay. Game of right. derbs. Nope. 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 That's not it. <laughs> we'll find it eventually. We'll go to the. We'll we're, we'll leave that to the pun masters of of roller derby <laughs> to uh, come up with the proper name for roller derby with swords. <laughs> And then I'm also going to leave it to them to come up with the rules. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the jammer get two swords? Does the jammer get no swords? <laughs> Just a shield. <laughs> she gets the shield <laughs> to push through. <laughs> kind of like, what do, what do they call that? That cow thing on the front of the car? The cow, cow pusher? Cow pusher? Like a cow pusher. <laughs> cow pusher. What's that cow thing that pushes? <laughs> yeah, shut up. What's that thing that pushes cows? <laughs> Ca- shut it. <laughs> at, at one point in that match, what was weird, uh, the, the, the pack had almost broken up a bit. Yes. And they were like had separated, and uh, one of the girls I thought was gonna like stay forward, mm-hmm. but then like skated backwards, mm-hmm. and then like hopped and spun, so she would be facing the right direction. Yes, to like link up with her teammates. So what happens with that is is sometimes your pack doesn't stay together, yeah. so you can which we're told, you know, try to stay near your pack as much as possible. Because yeah. what can happen is, is you can hear the ref yell, the pack is here, meaning mm-hmm. that everybody's obliterated out or yeah. something's happened. Okay. Um, you can also do what's called bridging. So you can bridge up. So you have one person here, one person here, one person here, one person here. Okay. And then connect back together. Mm-hmm. So what probably happened, and I didn't see it, what probably might have happened is, is that the... Um, two people or one person had the jammer on their back mm-hmm. or the three people in the back had the jammer on the back and that person skated forward too much and that's why she was backing up a little bit to get back to the pack mm-hmm. to form a wall again hmm. to get where they need to be for that so it could be numerous things with that <laughs> don't forget the part i mentioned where she hopped and spun yeah, she mid- hopped and spun <laughs> um that on uh, yes yes uh we are taught how to do that what uh, yeah you're taught how to hop around on your skates you're taught how to jump on your skates um it's i still can't do a one-footed turnaround because i've busted my rear end too much on that <laughs> so i'm like i'll stick with two feet on the ground right now <laughs> yeah, it's funny i think they spend more time running on skates yeah then skating especially when they're in the pack uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. you can just hear the skate that the, the toe stops slamming into the ground yeah. as the jammer <laughs> tries to get around and through the pack so it's not so much skating at that point as it is like pirouetting yeah no way it's i can like describe what that did is you, did you see any of that jerry a little where they basically run on their toes for a few steps yeah so, oh. That's you gotta, to you gotta guys... get the speed. Well, yeah, you have to. While like you have these weights on your feet. Yeah. Just... No, I I cannot. I was while say, getting my sk- hit from my behind. My skates are in the car. <laughs> I will I will gladly spectate that sport for the rest of my life. <laughs> I I will concede. We could have you guys at a practice and uh, put you in a pair of skates no. and see how you feel. No, we don't, we don't need to do on. that. <laughs> yeah, that'll look ridiculous. It would really be in depth reporting. It would be I'm like just say. just watch an episode of Looney Tunes. It would be the same thing. <laughs> it would be really boring. No. For, for me and Alex, I'd be going real slow okay. and wobbly armed. I could do twenty-seven laps in like twenty-seven minutes, twenty-seven <laughs> hours. 
But anyways. I wouldn't even make it 20 laps. No, no, I, I would literally <laughs> die. I That's not even uh, like hyperbole. It's I would I would end up killing myself. I would snap my neck by falling. <laughs> I would fall the wrong way. I would do like the you know when you gotta have like like that whistling noise in Looney Tunes and <laughs> your feet are like flying out from under you and then yeah, I would yeah. fall back we and actually, I would smack right. my We actually head. do what you call we we, we do a, a drill where you you take your skates and you you're pretty much throwing your feet in front of you mm-hmm. and then throwing your feet back and feel like that, how it feels yeah. yeah how it feels to fall you know what it would feel like to fall. You ever see that the GIF or the the video clip of the in the winter guy shoveling ice? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that man fell for three minutes. <laughs> He fell for a long time, and he ended up recovering. Yeah, and then he threw the shovel. <laughs> Classic. I would he walked do that. off camera and fell down. <laughs> but it was rad. I gotta say, like witnessing it, like also the like the group of people there, like being around friends, like mm-hmm. some people who I was not expecting to be there. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, friends who we used to work with, like at Six Flags, that we've we've kept in touch with and things like that. It was it was uh it was really neat. Like it was surprising, and also I got a calendar out of it, which is now displayed in my home. <laughs> Had it had dogs. It had dogs on it. Had dogs. Yep. Had dogs police dogs. It. Had the police dogs. It was a lot of fun though, and I got to give mad props to all of the the competitors and the people who put like Nichelle, I, You were a big part of put making that event happen. Yep. Like you were you were like a f- three headed monster that just running <laughs> everything. You know. Like I straight spend straight time. out of a Lovecraftian novel. Am oh, I right? Yeah. Yes. It's from the thing. Yes. Nice one. Nice. Straight out of a love Lovecraftian. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put that R in there, don't you? Yep. <laughs> God damn it. No, it's 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 we run like a well oiled machine. Um when we put these things on our home games. Uh we come in, we get that track set up, we get everything set up that we need to get set up and we get everybody in and usually it's you know, myself or somebody else or not me if I'm not there, but it's we are a well oiled machine when it comes to that as a team. Are there teams that like have a reputation for for not being set up on time and? Not that I know of. Everybody, it's it's funny. The community of roller derby, whether you're the home team or the away team, mm-hmm. if you're an away team coming into an you know where you're playing, we all help each other out. Hmm. Nobody's got a reputation for not helping. None of that. You don't hear that because it's they put a lot of effort into getting where they are. Uh-huh. It's like I explained to the guys at work that she, you know, she was still working on her tryouts, you know, still trying to get her third levels passed. And they were like, well, what do you mean tryout? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, oh, you just don't just join the team. Yeah, they're like, you just don't join the team. I'm like, well, no. no. And they're like, I don't understand. They're like, well, because, you know, they have to be good at what they do or they're going to hurt themselves yeah. or they're going to hurt somebody else or they're not going to be competitive. I'm like, this isn't a beer league. No. I'm like, it's not, this is, it's not, it's dangerous what they're doing they can get hurt every time they're out there doing it's, it. It's not like the company's softball team where it's like, who wants to play softball? Yeah. All right, no. you're shortstop. Everyone's we're, in. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're a full we're a full contact sport. Yeah. I I can tell you the the last time I hurt myself, I had hit my head hard mm. and it had gotten to the point where they thought I had a concussion and I got dragged off the track because I was like I was in tears because it hurt so bad. Mm. I call him up, I'm like, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but I'm hurting. I don't you know, it's it's a full contact sport. It's they put you through these level testings to make sure that you're going to be stable and good at what you're doing, mm-hmm. and not hurting anybody else, and not hurting yourself or anything like yes, that. It just it just seems like the girls they just take pride in the fact that they're there. They take pride in what they're doing. Yep, it's what causes them to be out there. Nobody's being paid for anything. They're Mm-mm. just we enjoy it. They're there because they want to be there. And it just seems like they, you see it more that way. You just see him putting the effort in. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. It's super rad. And I really appreciate uh, you guys giving us some space to talk to three people and <laughs> put our pins on a table and then also just to get to witness it. It was super rad. We enjoyed having um, you guys there. It was it was neat. It was neat <laughs> for, for all. It was a good way to spend a, to spend a Saturday night, I got to say. Um Instead of spending a hundred dollars on a boxing fight, <laughs> Box, a boxing fight, boxing match. Anyways, but uh, now I need to come up with my my uh, derby my name? derby name. Even though I'm never gonna, I guess I, I don't even have the. We right could have to come shirts made one. for you for you guys. <laughs> they say opinions may vary, and then put AKA derby na- your derby name underneath it. Skater skater guy. <laughs> if you want to take Victor, then Jeremy yeah. the skates. I'm not gonna use. Von Zoom, so 
<laughs> That's fair. We'll have to come up with one. I mean, well, you know you how want, they you know how they have to... steampunk generator names? Yeah. Online, I'm <laughs> yeah. sure they have a derby oh, generator, derby, generator derby name generator online. <laughs> it's like how uh, Donald Glover got his his rap. <laughs> yeah, name. I was gonna I was gonna go to Childish Gambino. He got Childish Gambino out of a Wu Tang Clan generator like name generator, and now he's Childish Gambino, and he's built a a whole like career off that. Not a, not a whole career, but a Horrible. whole music career. You like Childish Gambino? Oh, oh he's so good. No. <laughs> I love no. Donald Glover. Oh. Um, <laughs> now, now I'm sad. Oh, see, no. I need to get people back on my side. I haven't seen the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we find more about looking up uh, Western Mass Roller Derby? So we're on Facebook, mm-hmm. westernmassrollerderby.com. And we are on Instagram. Let me double check this. I think it's at Western Mass Roller Derby. Let me just double check. Hang on. Hold, let's, please. Let's vamp for a few minutes here when we get the uh, <laughs> pulled up. Sorry. Uh, Remember when we were like, we can't fill a full hour with Derby? <laughs> Ooh, look, look at that. We filled a full hour we with We filled derby. more than a full hour with Derby. <laughs> I could keep going, but I also need to get this uploaded. <laughs> so we are, yeah, Western Mass Roller Derby, at Western Mass Roller Derby on Instagram. So... So you can go check it out. Check it out. Go support your your local derby team. If you're in they'll Western be, Mass, that's the one. They'll be skating in the Springfield Day Parade at the Big E. David will be there. I'm West making Dave. I'm making David work again. <laughs> it's not gonna be fair. They're gonna get skates. I'm gonna get to walk. You gotta walk. Yeah. I get to walk. Right. I get to skate on the Big E at the Big E on Massachusetts Day. That's pretty cool. That's neat. So we yeah. get to do that. Do you know what day that is? The 21st of September. So we'll be there for that. And then our last game, which closes our season, is on September 30th. And we'll have beer again. <laughs> same same venue? Same venue. Um, Iron Duke will be there again. So we're going to have some different vendors there uh, this time around. Hmm. Rad. So. That's the day after my birthday. Woo-hoo. And I think it's also the day my vacation starts. <laughs> so maybe I'll find an excuse to make my way up to, to Western Mass again. Dave and Michelle, this is so fun. Thank you. So you guys are, I like you guys a lot. <laughs> you guys are fun. Well, that's suspect now because you don't like the Goonies. Well, yeah, but I like, <laughs> but I like, um, we're, we're going to PAX. We are going Good to one. PAX. Yes, Doing the PAX Unplugged. Yes. We're going to go to the inaugural. Yep. And we're staying in the same hotel. You know, everyone says you shouldn't go to a con's first year, but. I'm doing it. It's I don't packs. even care. It's packs. It is. Yeah, they have a little bit of packs. tenure. So. <laughs> that's what I mean. If, if you show up and there's like no power, it would be unexpected, although Ooh. it is unplugged. So maybe that's the plan. But like, if you count, wouldn't it be like their their fortieth convention or something? something like that? Yeah, yeah. That's a good so, point. That's a good point. <laughs> they do four a year. They yeah. do one in Australia. I want to go to the one in Australia. That would be fun. I don't. They just did Dev. You don't fly, so you. Wouldn't... Yeah, Dev happens before yeah. West every year. Although I'd like to go to E three, which would be amazing. I just want to go to everything. We, we all have our wish list. I know. Yeah. <laughs> San Diego. Lots of things. New York. What about the Emerald Heroes City Con? Too? <laughs> I would like to see Emerald City. Emerald City seems to be really good. C2E2. Emerald City um, is supposed to be interesting yeah. to go to. Dragon Con. I think we should try to get to Dragon Con at some point soon. Yes. Mm. We were talking about that. Going to Dragon Con. Phoenix got so big that uh, San Diego has to go after him. Right. You can't, <laughs> you can't call yourself a Comic Con. Well, we own Comic Con. The term. That's not even a Comic Con anymore. San Diego is not even a Comic Con anymore. Yeah, it's a couple of things. It's, it's, they're, they're in every con. What do you call that? Celebrity. What do you call Rhode Island Comic Con? <laughs> <laughs> Rhode Island Celebrity Con. <laughs> That's pretty much what it's turned into. <laughs> it wouldn't be that big of a deal. No, we'll talk about this off air. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk. Because <laughs> you just this will be a whole nother hour yep. of this. Yeah, <laughs> we could keep going. Yeah, we could we could rant about that and just burn burn everything. Uh, so guys, this is so much so much fun. Thank you so much for coming on on a wasting your Saturday night with us. It was uh it was it's very fun. Oh, stop. <laughs> Uh, but we are uh, out of time. I got to get this uploaded. Up, uploaded. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I gotta get this uploaded now. So uh, for for y'all to enjoy, um, super fun. Check out roller derby. Check out your local team if you have one. If you're not in Western Mass, if you're in Western Mass, <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> uh, and go check it out. September 30th, day after my birthday. So you can show up. And if I'm there, make, tell me happy birthday. Come on, seriously, Jesus. High five. God. Maybe we'll get the girls to, you know, sing. No, we'll you sing don't, for you. No, you don't have to do we that. We could. 
Maybe we will. <laughs> I'm forever scarred with that because one of my first jobs, they sang me happy birthday. I worked oh. in a warehouse and it was like three people like <laughs> kind of mumbling it. <laughs> and they went through the whole song and I'm wow. like, Stop. just let me eat the pizza that you got. <laughs> okay. That's going to do it. Until next time, I've been JR. I'm Alex. I'm Dave. I'm Nichelle. And this has been episode, I almost lost it again, man. <laughs> uh, you'd think I'd learn. 286 of Opinions May Vary.